Well, hello internet. Well, the holiday's over. Back to normal. Another week at work. <sighs> Stress is back again. But today, we have, as you can see, a fairly decent day. And it's fairly warm. Not Canaries warm, but fairly warm. So, of course, when the sun starts coming out, your mind starts turning to other things. Now, I've got a heap of stuff to do on the Tigra behind me. Loads of bits down there to do, brakes, um, springs, all sorts of things. But there's a job I've been promising to do for quite some time. And today, I'm going to make a start on it. So, let me show you. So, I have a little bit of a clear up. Not that you'd notice, because there's so much junk in here. I am slowly selling it. Um, but the ZXR, I've moved it out. It is on my uh, paddock stands. Um, these are a real waste of money. They weren't cheap, but they are so flimsy. I really don't like them. So as you can see, um, it's got some extra bracing on there to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. But I've got the back end up. What I need to do is get all the belly pan off, get a jack underneath it, make it stable, and then the whole front end's coming off. Because today, I'm going to do the fork seals. It's a job I've been meaning to do for months now, and I've had the parts literally for months now. Uh, I think I got them October last year uh, when it failed the MOT on it. But as the sun is out, and as my neighbour's just gone out on his bike, I think it's time to get this thing done. Um, I've also got to clean the carbs, but that doesn't stop me taking it for the MOT. But the most important thing, first of all, is get this front end stable, get it all jacked up, and get the forks out. Right, let's stop talking and let's do it. And go me, it's almost like I'm going to do the job properly. We've got some JIS screwdrivers. Yay! Well, to those words of wisdoms, don't buy cheap axle stands for your bike from eBay. Because the ones I just had, um, I literally had to catch the bike on the way down. Um, yeah, it just folded. Absolute rubbish. So I don't buy them. Um, right, I've now got blocks of wood and jacks holding it really firm and it's a lot more solid than it was. Front wheel's up in the air. I think that's going to give me, hopefully, enough, I'm going to have to measure it, to get them out of the headstock. Um, but again, going to have to measure it, make sure I've got enough room, so let's do that now. Right, so I've got the brake calipers off. Looks like I need some new brake pads, to be honest. So I'll get some of those on order. All right, now, um, obviously this cowling's got to come off. Took the screw out there, screw out of the top as well, there, there, and there. But, um, clever old Japanese technology. They're going to put two screws on the inside, so I've got to take the wheel off first. Um, so to get the wheel off, you've got to loosen off these. Um, don't know what they are at the moment. Um, I've got one in my box. Doesn't look like I have, no, so I uh, have to tell you what they are when I get them off. Uh, and then you've got a, a weird looking bolt there. I've got this tool. Um, it's not really, I think these are sump plugs from, oh, let me have a look. Let me show you. Um, yeah, there you go. That's what they are. Um, so one of these fits exactly on there, which is brilliant. And then I can undo that. So get that out. Get these bolts slackened off and I'll tell you what they are and then we'll uh, get the wheel out. So it appears it's a H6. Okay, so one of my sump sockets in that side. Another one in that side with the trusty mole grips. Now we unwind. And as you can see, it's not too bad. Obviously, loosen those ones first because you're not going to get... You're not going to get that off. Uh, boy, that's still tight. But yeah, once you've loosened it off, cracked it, it's all pretty easy stuff, there you go, and basically when we get it out, when we get it out, there you go, that's all it is, so it's just a Freddy bar in there, and then that one comes out, well yes it does, should we try it, uh, just got to loosen those off, because I had to nip them up, to hold it. Da, 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 da. Talk amongst yourselves. Ah, there you go. We're loose. And then in theory, there we go. That should just come out. Right, I need two hands. And there you go. One of those out. 
one of those down. Don't lose your little spacers there because it won't work without those. Right, let's get on with it. And my last little awkward screws. I don't know if you can see it, but up there to hold that mud guard on. And we are free. Yeah, that's dirty. That needs to clean. So, right. That's some of the tricky stuff over. Now, I've got to unbolton that right up there, which is going to be a sod to get to, both sides. And obviously the ones on the top, and then just slide the forks out. And then we can start dismantling them and uh, putting the new seals in. So they're 12 mil up there. You can just about get a spanner in like that. They're slackened off. Now I have to let's go around the top, find all the gubbins. Don't want to unlock that. Um, I have to loosen that one there, and then they should, in theory, slide through. In theory. We will see. We will see. So, loosened those off, even took the handle grip off, still solid, and then I realised why. Let me show you. There's two bolts up there. There's not just one, there's two. So, mm. not much light in here, you probably can't see, but actually up there, on that yoke, there's two bolts. Of course there is. Yes, and of course that second one is a real joy to get into. I had to set the first one off to get into it, but now, da da da. Ah, one fork and of course the second one you can't get out because that bracket's in the way gonna have to get creative so i did in the end i managed just to get a spanner in there so they're they're undone right up top now and here comes number two marvelous ah, that's the easy bit done right first of all Crack that bottom bolt, get the oil out, and release the shock. Well, I thought this little screw might do something, lock out the shock or something crazy like that. But I think it's just to do with rebound. It's not a drain, it's on a spring, so yeah, must be rebound. Alright, let's get the dust cap off. And then there should be a spring clip in there. And then we should be able to get... Oh, I like we're leaking. <laughs> um, yeah, hold on. Yeah, I started undoing that bolt, and obviously it's moved. But of course this twists round, and the shaft inside twists round as well. So, you know, I've got to be a little bit cleverer. Which is not me. But, um, yeah, I can get this dust cap off, try and get that seal out. And then we've got an option to get the oil out the top or the bottom. Right, got that bottom screw out. Just pulled on the shaft itself up here. And then got the impact down there and it popped out. So, uh, yeah, that's good stuff. In theory now, if I yank this, there is a slider in there and there is a bracket in there and it pulls that actual um, seal out. So it's going to drain the oil and then I'll do that. Uh, but first, I'm just going to make a mess. <laughs> Bloody hell. <sighs> so literally none of that ended up in the... Uh, in the place I wanted it to go in um, but yeah I've got the bolt out so that's a good bonus right now um, I, I want to show more of this but to be honest it's gonna be really tricky because it's a pain in the ass to do so I'm gonna um, basically what I'm gonna do is get that slide and pull it up off the stop and that should then ease that seal out that's the way it's worked before so hopefully we'll be good again <sighs> But first of all, a brew. Just like that. There you go, that's the bottom bit done. So yeah, there's your problem with the bolt. Bolt goes in there and that turns around as well. You can take the top off and sometimes grab them. Um, but with the impact gun, you can usually get there in the end. And that is the locking tab just there. So as you're banging it up, you're actually forcing that seal up as well and that's what tends to get them out it's always worked for me um i'll probably be told on the internet that it's not the right way to do it but it's done right i've got the bits so i'm gonna have a bit of a clean up and then i'll get started on the uh the reassembling and uh obviously then I need to take that top bolt off as well because i need to fill up as as well um they do have a specific measure of these so don't underfill don't overfill 
spot on what you need right so next oh, like neighbors back <laughs> yeah so next um yeah a little bit of silicon spray on there just to give it some lubrication and then put the seal on and there we go one new seal just got to get it back in the holder now um for that ooh, leaking a bit yeah for that just got to be really 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 careful but what i will use is the old seal on top just to knock it down all right so Bob's going back in. New cup of washer on there, just to make sure everything's pretty good. Put that on first, and then that holds everything in place. And then we'll bash that seal down. All right, bolts back in the bottom, all tightened up. Seal is there, and like I say, what I'm gonna do now is slip the old seal over the top, and I'll use that to uh, nip it down into place. There you go, so now I can hammer on that. Jobs are good, and no damage done. There you go, so seal's in place. And uh, maybe an old rubber hammer did its job. There you go. So now just got to put the circlip in and then put the dust cover on, and that's this side done. Oh, there you go. Well, you probably can't see it, but take my word for it. Circlip's in there, nicely clipped in, made sure it's in the right place. That's holding that in a treat. So, last thing, dust cover on, and we are done. There we go. Once again, use the old one to tap it down so we don't damage it. Side one, done. All we've got to do now is fill it up with the oil. So next, that one's got to come off and that's going to be spring loaded. So um, this will be fun. Just for reference, 27 millimeter. There you go, this one wasn't too bad. Excellent. I've got to say now though, I mean, it's limited access up there. Would it be better filling it from the bottom? I'm going to do some research. God, go me. So. I've done some research, watched a few videos, and everything seems to contradict itself, and everything seems to be different, and everybody seems to do it different. Um, some are saying you need to take the spring out, take the damper rod out, blah, blah, blah. So what I'm going to do is measure out, uh, is it 479? Let me just double check that. Yeah, 479 millilitres, which is what you're supposed to put in. And as I've got, is that a litre? Or is that a half litre? It's a litre. So that should just about do both sides i've got two of these don't know why i bought two but there you go so this is what's going in and and yes probably in the comments will tell me it's the wrong stuff but um that's what i'm putting in and this is the way i'm doing it so there right so that's this side done um all seems yeah pretty good um yeah <laughs> what can i say yeah, fork seals are not leaking, that I can see, the bung's not leaking, there's no issues, so I'm going to put that in. And then it's rinse and repeat on the other side. And as this side has took me so long, and I've been videoing it, I'm going to crack on. So um, you'll see more of it when it's back in the bike. Number two done. Alright, back in the bike again. And there you go, I've created a mess, but it's all back together again. All bolted up, all back together, all the bolts tightened to spec. Um, all I've got to do is get some new brake pads. Those ones, they're okay. They've got some life in them, but they're about ready for change. So while I've got them off, might as well change them as well. But that is it. We are done. Um, it's not a particularly bad job. Uh, it's just a bit finicky, a bit fiddly. Um, my main problem, getting the bike up high enough to get the front wheel out. Um, as I said, I put it up on a uh, paddock stand at first. Um, and that is now outside and discussed and um, that's going to the bin so not going to use that again but I managed to basically jack it up use the side stand to support it hold it this side jack it up that side and got it high enough to get the job done right that is about it um, more stuff on the Teagle to come I am now going to get well I'm going to tidy this place up and then I'm going to get myself a shower because I am filthy and I'll probably stink Thanks for joining me internet, and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye.